Invis antennas, what are they and how can you use one? Well, keep watching because we're gonna find out on this next episode of Ham Radio Q&A. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. So if this is your first time watching, thanks for tuning in and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Well, uh, today we're going to talk about ENVIS, or Near Vertical Incident Skywave Propagation. Uh, ENVIS antennas are loosely defined as an antenna that is mounted at a very low height to give you a um, greater amount of local or regional communications. Uh, basically, ENVIS antennas are used in the HF bands, primarily the 75 and 40 meter bands, and should give you a range of about 100 to 300 miles. Uh, the low antenna height of an ENVIS antenna uh, works by eliminating or reducing ground wave or skip propagations. And, also, and enhancing the sky wave propagations where more of your RF energy is going straight up and then re reflected straight down uh, from the ionosphere. So basically what you're doing with an ENVIS style antenna is instead of sending your signal outwards, you're sending it up to focus more of that energy in, in the um, local or regional area you wish to communicate with. So why do we need one? What's What's the importance of an ENVIS or near vertical incident skywave antenna? Uh, because if we wanted to con contact or communicate locally, wouldn't VHF work well for us? Well, um, VHF and repeaters are great for short range or very local communications, but when you want to extend your distance out to a re more regional level, say, you know, 100 to 300 miles, uh, you're going to start to really run into uh, problems with uh, the higher frequencies, with, with v such as VHF or UHF. So, um, the importance of ENVIS and um, HF communications for, for regional work is um, basically you're, you've got no reliance on infrastructure. Uh, you can have a totally uh, self-contained unit or station on battery power and you don't need any infrastructure such as um, links, nodes, repeaters to communicate. Next up, you're going to have greater range than you will with VHF. Uh, using uh, the 75 or 40 meter band, like I said, you can uh, reach out 100 to 300 miles or, or, or so. And, um, since you're in, and within that 300 mile bubble, almost all of the stations, if they're all using ENVIS antennas, should be able to communicate with each other. And then third uh, most important reason is terrain is really not an issue. Uh, when you get up into VHF, UHF communication, you know, your line of sight and terrain can make a big deal. If you're in a valley um, and need to get over a hill, it's not going to work, especially if you're not connected to a repeater or, or some other type of link. Point-to-point -point communications between mountain ranges, hills, or rugged terrain isn't the answer. But with ENVIS, uh, hills almost almost melt away. You're sending a signal straight up, it's coming straight down, it's going to go over those mountain ranges, it's going to extend through um, valleys, so uh, terrain is no longer an object. So, how does ENVIS work? Well, basically, um, you take a half wave uh, dipole antenna and then uh, mount its peak at a very low height. Uh, when, you, when you're looking for DX, you're going to want to mount your, you, you're going to want your peak of the antenna up a quarter wave, a half wave, or, 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 or so uh, to really um, enhance that, that skip. But with ENVIS, since we want the signal to go upwards, uh, we want to keep the antenna height very low, say 12 to 15 feet. You don't need to be any higher than 15 feet for a good ENVIS antenna. Uh, ENVIS works best for the low bands, so 40, 60, 80 meters are you going to be your primary choices for uh, ENVIS communications. And um, some people say using um, a ground wire running parallel to your um, dipole is also enhances the ENVIS properties. I haven't really experimented with that and online I've seen uh, both pros and cons of doing it that way. So um, that might be an option too to run a ground wire parallel um, to your uh, low radiator to for, for the ENVIS uh, property. So, um, what I'm using for my ENVIS antenna is a half wave 40 meter dipole antenna. 
It is approximately 66 feet long, which gives, um, which is about, you know, 35 feet uh, per, uh, per quarter wave leg fits perfectly. I'm out here camping this weekend. It fits perfectly uh, in our campsite. I got a 12-foot uh, fiberglass painter's pole that I'm using to support the center and then each end is tied off at about uh, a tree at about seven feet of height. So you know we're, it works great for the local communications. In fact um, maybe what we'll do is I'm just going to cut away to a, a little demonstration on um, on Envis communications here so you can kind of uh, hear how it how the Envis uh, antenna is working KD9 CGX KD9 CGX KB9 VBR KB9 VBR KD9 CGX uh, you're still about uh, 5 7 Roger, Roger. Uh, you're coming in at about um, 5758. Five, uh, location here is I'm down near Wisconsin Dells at the corner of um, Columbia, Sauk, Juneau, and Adams County. So, um, where are you located? Uh, we are uh, back in the middle of uh, Burnett County in the northwest corner of the state. Uh, probably about 20 miles from the uh, state line. Roger that, roger that. So um, distance wise, we are probably talking, I think it's about in the neighborhood of a, oh, 180, 200 miles um, by the crow flies. Um, I've got a 40 meter dipole antenna. It's um, in an NVIS configuration. The peak is about 12 feet, and each of the legs is uh, tied off on two trees at about a seven foot height. Roger that, uh, we're running about the same. The 40 meter dipole uh, at about 15 feet, and running it at flat top. Okay, good deal, good deal. Um, yeah, one thing I heard about Envis antennas is they work best if all of the parties are running envis but it's like i said you know super strong between the two of us so it's good to hear uh making a solid connection across the state Yeah, Roger that. That's true. Um, because it's forty, the forty meter antenna is only about thirty some thirty eight feet um, on a leg. It's not unwieldy to get set up. Uh, it can you know fit into most spaces compact. And I was able to use a tuner to get it down to seventy five meters. So it makes an excellent seventy five meter Envis antenna too. Um, power wise, I've only got a, running about fifty watts on the radio since we're battery battery operated. So it's um, a uh, good, you know, we're good efficient antenna for um, conditions like this. But you are kind of fading in and out, so I think we will um, uh, let her go. All right, Roger that. Uh, looks like the kids are uh, getting on the boat here, so I'll have to uh, speed 7 as well. Uh, we'll be towards your final. 89 BBR, 89 CGR. Well, it's nice talking to you this uh, afternoon. Uh, you have a um, good rest of the day and safe trips home. Uh, we'll catch you later at KD9CGX. This is KD9VBR. As for Envis antennas, you can use, like I said, uh, half-wave dipoles cut for your particular frequency and just mount them low. I've also seen plans for a shortened uh, dipole system where um, it's sort of a fan dipole. Two of the legs are um, 38 feet, 38 feet long um, each and then the other two are 25 feet each. Uh, the 38 feet legs are good for the 80 meter band and then the 25 foot legs are good for the 40 meter band and then you use an antenna tuner uh, to um, get a good match uh, between those two bands and there again um, excellent Envis coverage of 150 to about 350 miles with a system like that. Uh, with my uh, 40 meter dipole what I can do also 
and then it's just I just took my tuner and um, tuned it up on 75 meters it was um, and uh, may easily made a contact with um, uh, with, with that system so uh, just the plain old 40 meter dipole might be good enough um, run it without the tuner on 40 meter band I'll use the tuner to uh, get a good match on 80 meters and you've got nice local regional communications with those two bands with a single antenna so uh, that's my demonstration of the um, Envis antenna near vertical incident skywave propagation, a great tool for emergency communications, Aries Racy's teams, or other, other types of, of communicators needing something that works out in the field uh, without a lot of um, power or a space to set up a more conventional antenna system. Well, if you enjoyed this video, as always, please give me that big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Check out uh, some of my other videos. Be sure to subscribe so you get notified when future videos are released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and 73.